everyone, I'm back. It's time to get serious about couponing. Over the holidays, it's been a lot of fun finding little things on sale and stocking up for gifts next year or just little things that you just didn't want to buy during Christmas. For example, my last venture was to bargain hunt and I found two boxes of K-Cups, coffee and cocoa. I do the coffee, my son does the cocoa. These were originally $10 per box. They had just marked them down to 75% off. The gourmet popcorn, Santa's popcorn, I really don't care that it's Santa's popcorn, was marked down to $1.25. The goldfish were regular price, but I have been needing snacks, so I went ahead and got some of those to take to work, to eat between lunch and whatever. You look at my coupon for everything, I only paid $11.25 prior to tax. That will be my last on the fly deal that I do unless something incredible comes along because right now I have to focus and if you look at these you'll see I am ready to focus now the way I coupon is I focus on one or two things only and I stock up on those one or two things and then I move on to the next thing because I do like to have a few months supply six months to a year supply of certain items now these are the coupons that came in and what I do first is I have a list of things that I like to use for the family and I recommend that you make a list. For example, we have certain favorites of body washes, certain laundry detergents. If you look by laundry detergent, I have Gain, Tide, All, dot, dot, dot. Well, those are the three that I will use. However, if there's one that is 50 cents or free, I will give it to someone or donate it to charity. Down below, you see the food items that we use a lot of. Um, dog treats, I'm not really particular on dog treats. I do not put dog food on there because my dogs only eat one brand of food. If you look to the right, you will see Glucerna and Gardein. I wrote that because I do have special family and friends that request those things. So when I see them on sale or see a high value coupon, I make sure that I clip those and pass those on to them. So this is my list. These are the things that we usually use throughout the year. These are the things that I stock up on. I feel very weird and very just disoriented if I don't have at least 20 of these items. So, starting here, I'm going to show you what do you do with all these coupons. Well, I actually sort them, stack them, and I put them back in the original newspaper that it came in. Now, one way to save on coupons is to actually buy the Wednesday paper. You'll see I have the Wednesday paper instead of the Sunday paper. I just have to remember to write the Sunday's date on it because they're the coupons, and that's the Sunday prior to the Wednesday you purchased it. And that's how I keep my coupon sorted. So I will then just take all of these and put them into here, just like this, and just sort them. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm not particularly anal over it. When I first started, I used to actually clip and clip, clip every single coupon, put them into binders, and then I would take out the expired coupons and refill them with new ones, and it was so time consuming, it was really frustrating. Now once I've done this, all I have is this box right here. It's just a plain little box, a filing box. These are the PNGs from January, I'm sorry, December 30th. But I got them January 2nd. Same coupons, much cheaper. So that's for January. I will then move this over and insert my coupons from up here into there. I'll do that later. But right now, since I've sorted my coupons for now, I want to show you how I'm going to select what I buy this week. So bringing over my laptop, I've already done one deal. As you guys know, Bath & Body Works is having a really good sale going on. Um, I do not pay retail for Bath & Body Works. It is my favorite. I refuse to pay that amount. If you will look at the original price on here before markout, the average cost of a bottle of body care lotion is $12.50. There is no way. Um, right now, this is 75% off clearance. They also have another deal going on, which is for $3.95 per bottle. And these are the scents that they're bringing back. The nostalgia of it. You know, the first scent you got when you bought Bath & Body Works and scents you remember and that you want to bring back and they just never do. So they're bringing them back for $3.95. Well, when you spend $40, you will save $10. So how do you get the $10? Well, you can get them in your email. 
like I do. There's my email, 10 off 40, because I shop there a lot. Um, let me tell you this, $3.95 is not the best deal. I really do like it when they have it for $2.95 because then I spend less than $2 per bottle and that's when I really stock up. But if you're just starting and want to get a base um, stash in your house, this is a good start for $3.95. What you're gonna do is shop for the $3.95. If you don't have the coupon, you can actually just Google Bath and Body Work Coupons. You're then gonna go to the site, site, sorry, and do in-store coupons. It's going to pull up the coupons that you can use in the store. Clicking on that one, 10 off 40. Look at there. You can either print this coupon. I can't move it up. It won't move. Well, let's just pretend, pretend I'm gonna print it. So you can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And you take that into the store and they can scan it. Or you can actually have it on your phone and they can scan it. So I did a quick little scenario to show you what would happen if you were to go to Bath & Body Works right now and get to use that 10 off 40 coupon. So you go to Bath & Body Works at $3.95, you need to spend $40, you would have to buy 11. 11 at $3.95 is $43.45. Deduct the $10, you pay $33.45. Well, how much is that per bottle of lotion or hand cream or whatever it is that you bought, it comes to $33.45. We already said that for that. Divide it by the 11, $3.04 per product. That is a big difference from the average cost of $12.50. I would never pay $12.50 for that. So that is something that I do. And because I did get the $2.95 deal um, right before Christmas, I won't be buying these. But if this is something that you really like, now is the time to go. Make sure you have that $10 off coupon. Now if you say, what can I do with 11 bottles of body care? Put it in a little tote, one of those little shoe boxes you get from Dollar Tree. It will hold them, slide them under your bed, put them in your closet, put them somewhere, but it is really worth it. Okay, so on now to serious couponing. I have my list and I need to select something that I am going to buy this week because I'm only going to buy one thing, no more than two, and I need to focus. I have been all willy-nilly and spending money that I shouldn't spend. A lot of times you spend more money on couponing, trying to catch all the sales, following all the videos, doing everything everybody is doing. Now this is my favorite website, and this is the site that I tell everyone to go to. And this is Coupon Mom. You go to this site and you actually register. Now I'm registered, so I'm going to log in and show you what it looks like. Here we go. I'm already logged in, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to Deals by State. I'm gonna scroll down. And I live in the state of Alabama. I'm going to click on Alabama. And just like magic, I can either shop by store, but I prefer to go to the bottom where it says Extreme Grocery Deals or Extreme Drugstore Deals. And they only show deals that are 50% off or half the price or lower. So I usually do the grocery stores because I'm around a lot of those. I'm not really good at doing um, CVS and Rite Aid, although some people really, really are. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to see what we have. Oh, it's asking me to log in again. Huh. There you go. I'm in. I think you saw my email, but I really don't care. I work for the state. Everybody has my email anyway. Okay, so right up here, it starts showing you the lowest, the highest savings. This says 168%. However, do not get excited. When you look, it's for Gillette Foamy Shave Cream. The shave cream is $1.49. You have to buy two. You're going to pay $1.49 at the register. What they're counting on are these... Um, register rewards that you're going to get back for the five dollars and they're kind of counting that into it about how much you would actually pay with that I go by register price because I don't want to get to count the points on my card I spend what I have at the time so I'm going to go up and I'm going to look for some of the things on my list the first thing on my list was what Olay body wash I love Olay I'm very low 
if you scroll back to the top, you can actually just type in the word. Where is it? Right here. Ole. I can't spell. I can't see the keyboard. Ole. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down. It's going to show me all of the Olay deals that they have. Well, it did not. Did I hit enter? I hit search. Ah, wrong search. Here we are. Okay, so I now have Olay. I'm scrolling down. Hmm. Apparently not. Let me try body wash. Sometimes it's the word that you choose. I'm actually going to go back because I'm not searching coupons. That says searching coupons. I'm going to search this body wash okay now it doesn't mean there are any deals out there I said that wrong that just means that the deals aren't there that that are out there aren't saving you 50% or more because that's what the site does shows you 50% or more so I've clicked search and they do have body wash on sale they have um, Nivea at Walgreens if you look, you'll see that there is a left column. It shows you where to find the coupon. So this will actually be in the Smart Source coupon that came out this past Sunday. And it's the S2, Smart Source 2. So that means there were at least two Smart Source inserts in there. I think there were actually three. And two of you tell me not. Now I wish there was a way that I could just look at these and tell which was Smart Source 1 or Smart Source 2. Usually me, I just have to look through all of them until I find the coupon, and then I pull all of those. <clears throat> now, according to this, if you go to Rite Aid, Nivea Body Wash right now is two for eight dollars. There is a coupon that is three dollars off. When you buy two, it's going to take off three dollars. So it should be a dollar. That's what it looks like. They're also counting over here how much cheaper it's going to be when you see the 90 the 90 cents. They're also taking it to the count that if you purchase and spend $20, $50, you get a $20 reward promo, which is like, again, reward bucks that they give you. Again, I don't really count on those. I look at out-of-pocket and register price, and that is mostly what I shop for. Okay, now because I've already done this and to save time, I'm going to show you what I am going to get because I absolutely love these and I always get them from Publix. And those are the Lysol wipes because we do have coupons for the Lysol wipes. So L I S O L. So we go to Lysol. I'm sorry about all the moving, but I really am learning to do this. And I think I'm going to invest in a little stand or something or make one until I can get one or find one. I'm really sure that's going to work. Okay, search. I'm going to go down and see. Well, apparently it's supposed to be cheaper at Rite Aid. But again, that's cheaper at Rite Aid. If I spend $50 of participating in participating products, then that price will come out to be $1.58 or something like that. But I, I really, oh, that's the spray. Do have the spray that's really good though. I do need some spray. Um, I think I saw the wipes though, so let's move on down to the wipes. And those were at Publix. There we are. Right now at Publix, the Lysol disinfecting wipes are on BOGO. BOGO means buy one, get one free. Regular price, there are dollars. No, regular price, they're 165 times two. Half the price is 165. There was a 50 cent off coupon that we have in a smart source. See, it's going to show us right there. Um, smart source three. We did have three smart source inserts. And that was from this past Sunday. So I'm going to clip my 50 cents coupon. Now, a 50 cent coupon alone is not a lot, but it is when you add it to something that's buy one, get one free. When you consider this product was more than $2. My final out of pocket price will be $1.15. Now, I intend to buy 20 of these. However, the problem will be the coupon does state that you can only use, let's see if I can find it. I pulled out a few. There it is. 
the coupon states that I can only use two per transaction, which means I'm going to have to make a lot of trips to Publix to get 20 of the Lysol wipes. That's a lot. But we do live close to a Publix. I do have family and friends, and I will tag team them and say, hey, if you pick up two of these for me, I will pick up something else for you. So I can get up to 20. Um, that's going to be the deal of the week. Uh, one other thing that I do want to point out is in another one of these flyers. It's a smart source. I'm not sure which one it is because, again, I don't know how to tell which one is one, two, three. There is something absolutely free you do need to pick up. I staggered it. Here we are. It is the free Airwick warmer. Now, it's just the warmer. It's not the oil that goes in it. But when they do promotions like this, they want you to get hooked on their products. And if you look around, there are other coupons for the oil, which is $1.25 for the center oil right here. And then the um, actual warmer is free. So if you save this coupon and hold on to it just for a little while, or if you see some holiday scents that are still left on the shelf that you can tolerate, it would be a great time to use that coupon buy discounted fragrance and have a free warmer. So if you have the paper, get that. If not, I do know that a lot of the manufacturer coupons do clip onto um, store coupon pages. For example, Dollar General has this on theirs. So you would just go to dollargeneral.com, create an account and clip this to your card and go pick up your free one the next time you're in store. Now I'm guessing because it's free and because it is a hot product, that you're gonna have to go a few times before you actually find that one. Let's see, uh, I think that was it for that. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you. This one right here. We are very big. We look for high value coupons that we can save and that we can share. And I found one because here it is. If you're diabetic, this is really, really good. And this is a great coupon. It's $3 off of one. Usually it's $3 off of two, but this is $3 off of one. And I'm guessing you can probably still only buy one or two, two per thing. But this is another item that the person I give these to, I will pick up two of these for them if they pick up two Lysol wipes for me. And that's how we'll kind of trade that off. So we can kind of increase our, our stockpile at the same time. So this is how we're couponing for this week. These are the items that I found. Um, if you're on paper towels, one more great coupon is the Sparkle coupon. It's a $1.25 off coupon. It is in the Retail Me Not, and it has this picture on it. I have to show you the picture because I don't know which one is Retail Me Not 1 and Retail Me Not 2. But this is a great coupon. Dollar General is infamous for having them for like $3.95, which would make these pennies on the dollar a great deal for that. So, for now, that's it. I want you to remember the site for couponmom.com. Let's see if I can get back to the page one more time before we go. And that would be right here. Yes, couponmom.com. Can you see that? And it's very easy to register. She does not send junk mail. I saw her years ago, I think, on the Oprah show. And this site has been going for a long time. She does not show you how to cheat, how to manipulate the system. Everything is fair and is clean because you don't want to use coupons wrong and mess it up for everybody. So that's my couponing for tonight. And when I start purchasing these, I will bring you back and show you what I have. Have a good night.